We're here with First Nations Goannas player David Peachy. Peachy, tell us, how's the week been so far? Yeah, it's been different for myself, uh, being out of the system for a while, but getting back into the swing of things, being into camp, and uh, obviously one of the reasons I'm here is for experience, and to be able to pass my knowledge onto these young fellas, I mean, it's been a fantastic experience so far. We've done some things that um, you don't normally do in camps in, in regards to uh, the dancing that we've been doing, the cultural aspects of uh, why we're together, and it, uh, it's been a well-rounded camp so far, and it's really been enjoyable. How much have the players got out of it so far? Because, you know, part of this is about developing um, not just these young men, but um, the wider community, and, and that's where it starts with these young men. Oh, it certainly does. And, I mean, when you throw the likes of your Laurie Daly's, who's our coach, and then his coaching staff in Gordon Tallis, Wendell Saylor, Cliffy Lyons, I mean, all our great Indigenous players that have been there in the past, to, to have them... In this camp, I think the young fellas just knowing the buzz that they get off, that they've had the opportunity to be a part of a camp that has so much talent um, uh, in their day and then bring that knowledge to our camp, I think has been uh, successful in its own right up until now and hopefully that'll be able to succeed on the field as well and um, that's what we're looking for. We've seen how much success the All-Stars campaign had and, and that being rested because of the World Cup, we won't see that till next year. But how important is it that we've had this, this festival weekend, this game on the weekend to, to really keep that Indigenous spirit alive this year? Yeah, and I think in the the heading, the Festival of Indigenous Rugby League really sums it up. And yeah, we're, we're ashamed that the All-Stars isn't happening and we know the workload on, upon our NRL players, but this gives a real opportunity for those kids that have been in the system at a younger age to come through and hopefully get a second opportunity. And that's the way I know talking to a lot of our players here with the Goennas, First, First Nation Goennas, that that's what they're using this for. And to have the likes of AJ who's come out of nowhere and Laurie Daly's given him the captaincy, um, he's really excelled and uh, he's grown another two feet tall and that's the sort of thing we want to expect out of these players and they'll walk away from this knowing that there's gone a lot of people that want to be in their shoes, in our shoes because of uh, the rich history of what we've got through the Aboriginal knockout which has been going for 43 years, uh, the Arthur Beetson Foundation Memorial knockout uh, carnival up that way so uh, 50 odd teams up there so it's a good player pool of talent and to be able to bring this uh, to head through a Wayne Bennett uh, off the back of the All-Stars. It's, um, it's something that I think a lot of our blokes never dreamed of and now it's here, they've got to make the most of that opportunity and we don't want it just to be left here as well. So hopefully they're going to set the standards for what's going to be um, a, an annual event yearly down the track. So it's great to be a part of it. But um, again, we've got um, some, some big ambitions that we want to be able to fulfil down the track and uh, it all starts here. So it's been a, a whirlwind camp so far. You won't be the only stars of the show on Saturday. You'll have the Knights there, of course, who you're playing, but there's going to be the women's um, teams there, New South Wales and Queensland teams, and the under-16s, so it's going to be a great day for the fans. Oh, it certainly is, and, I mean, you're going to get your bang for your buck, and when you look at all these players coming from different parts of uh, your rugby league territories, uh, to bring them all together and showcase on this Saturday, and then you've got the likes of Troy Casadale that's going to be there, one of our fantastic Indigenous um, country and western singers and then uh, you're leading into that on the Friday night as well so I mean you're going to have a lot of stuff happening over the next couple of days and uh, it's great to be a part of.